In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can upload a custom font into CapCut using your MacBook. So let's get to it. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is go to thefont.com and you're gonna find a bunch of free fonts on here and then you can simply select the one that you want to use in your CapCut edits. I am gonna go for the bold font. This is a font that's very similar. I don't know if it's the same, but it's at least very similar to the one that Alex Hermosi uses. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna download this font and then over here you can see it downloads as a zip file. Simply click on that and then it's gonna open itself and then it's gonna be in your downloads. Now what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to put that font into our fonts folder in our user library. So um, let me quickly pull that up. So you're gonna have to go to the user level on your Mac and then you're gonna see that there's a folder called library and within that folder you have a fonts folder. And all you have to do is basically drag this one the bold font into your fonts folder. There we go. The bold font is now in our fonts library folder. And we can close out of the out of this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up CapCut. Now, if you have your CapCut already open and um, while you're downloading the new font, you're gonna have to close it and start it again. Otherwise it will not work. So once you restart it, the new font will be available in there. So let's just quickly go into a project that I already have open. It already has captions. And as you can see, the captions are in a different font. So all I now have to do is select one of those captions and over here in the text Text tab with the fonts, I can now open this up. You wanna go to your system fonts and then over here you can see the fonts that I have on my MacBook. And over here you have the bold font. And then all you have to do is select it and you're good to go. You can now use that font in your CapCut edits. There you have it. If you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and then make sure to check out some of these videos over here all about CapCut editing.